so I just planted to showcase planted some seeds now it's wheat because I bone milled it and now let's try this out and it looks awesome okay <laughs> we got rid of everything and we are actually getting it off the uh, fence yo hey everyone and what's up guys my name is ALG Sonic and welcome back to another minecraft video today we're gonna have a new add-on which is called the advanced farming add-on which adds a lot of different stuff and this add-on is one of the complicated and the huge add-ons that I have, I have ever seen in my entire life so yeah so this add-on focus on farming and harvesting if you are interested to add that in your survival world so yeah before watching this video make sure to subscribe also hit the bell so you don't miss anything like the video and also share the video with your friends so yeah let's go okay so this add-on is called advanced farming add-on as i already said and it's created by t infinite minds and there's also the creators over there but you can't actually see them because they are annoying but this is the add-on that we are going to explore together uh, i have read everything about the changelog and this is i'm just going to show you the summary of everything because there are a lot of stuff a lot of details but i'm just gonna go into it okay so the first thing first the huge part about this add-on it is the tractor as you can see this right here it's the tractor it does everything it harvests the crops it deletes over other seeds like this and makes, makes a clear uh, path like this and also it can harvest and farm as well so yeah uh, that's what it does and also you can enter into the tractor and you drive it but as uh, this tractor doesn't have fuel in it we are going to talk about that right now on everything about this tractor so yeah how do you craft this in your survival wars so first of all we got this first part over here it's called crafting tractor parts and what you need to do is you have to get yourself some gold ingots and also gold nuggets as well as the iron ingots blocks of iron also you need to do is obsidian redstone lamps and iron bars so that's what we need to craft the parts of this tractor so we are just gonna see everything <laughs> i didn't memorize them so i'm just gonna take a look and we'll be right back okay i'm back and i forgot to say that uh the link will be down in the description as always if you want to download this add-on so the first thing first what you need to do is craft the body part and how do you how do you do that is you need uh, iron ingots like this you're gonna craft like that if i memorize them and also you need a block of blocks of iron put it like that and last of all not least you are gonna need the redstone lamps as you can see there we just got the uh, the tractor body and this is not the whole thing because this is just a first part and i'm not sure if i can place it yeah you can't actually place it but this is how it looks also it's 3d which is really really cool this is the first add-on that i see that has like items like this in 3d so yeah this is the first thing but not the last thing so we are just gonna go in the next one okay next thing next we are going to craft the tractor roof which is like this all you need to do is hold your iron ingots do a plus thing and then uh, get yourself iron boards by crafting them and put them on the corners and this is how you will get the tractor roof so yeah let's keep going so this is how you craft the wheels from the back so all you need to do is craft yourself obsidian something like that put the gold ingot in the middle and surround it by the obsidian so yeah this is how you get the tractor rear wheel i don't know how to say that rear wheel that the wheel that comes from the back so yeah and also this is so easier than the first one this is how you craft the front wheel and yeah so this is what you're gonna need to do and this is called the tractor front wheel as i said so this is what you need to craft everything and by the way you need you should craft two of these i don't know why craft one just one but you need to craft both of them and yeah okay so this is i think this is the whole thing i'm just gonna check okay so now you need to connect each wheel to the other by adding them like this put the iron ingots in the middle and this is how you get the wheels this is the front wheels and do the same thing to the back wheels and the, there you go you're just gonna get the axis and everything so yeah now we have got the full parts which are uh, the tractor body the tractor roof the wheel the front wheel basically and the uh, back wheels uh, i just switched that but okay next thing next you have to connect every single one 
or uh, you yeah you just gotta connect every single one to build the, the uh, tractor so what you need to do is you need this block right here and the real question is, is how to get this block so we are just gonna do that all you need to do is grab yourself some red concrete light gray concrete crafting table and chest that's all you need to do and do the same design that I did over here and you are just gonna make sure that's how you can get the workstation and it's the same as this one so next after getting the workstation all you need to do is connect the uh, tractor part all you need to do is like look at that right click if you are in windows 10 or just hold on the thing if you are on mobile as you can see here now we are starting to connect the uh the parts so it's ask, asking me to connect the body to the to the roof and just hit trade basically this is a villager and now we need to connect that with that and oh i forgot something <laughs> i forgot the thing and this is how you do the steering wheel all you need to do is do iron ingot like that and in the middle gold nuggets and this is how you do the uh, thing and last but not least you are gonna build your uh, tractor and this is how you build the tractor this is how you place it and there you go however this is not the last thing we, we still need to fuel this thing up we still need to wire it water it up and attach some uh, stuff to it okay so this is what we are gonna do today for that we are gonna need to craft the uh, crafting tractor attachments we're gonna go to craft the tractor attachments so how we're gonna do that is it's, it's complicated i hope i'm not gonna miss anything all you need to do is grab yourself some blocks of iron as well iron ingots sticks and also some clay and also the string so this is all what you need to do to craft the attachments and now let's go to the crafting table and see what the attachments are so this is the first attachment that we are getting all you need to do is grab yourself some iron block of iron and sticks and do this recipe that um, I did right here and just grab your uh, this is called the mower and what it does is uh, it gets rid of the, all the plants or the seeds right here and as I said it makes things uh, flat like this so you don't see any other plants it gets rid of the large seeds large plant and yeah so yeah this is what it does it mows down the stuff next part is this one all you need to need is the same stuff do the same recipe and then you are gonna get the plow what this does is it, uh, it it does the same thing that the hoe does in the farm so uh, it plows down the land and makes it farmable if you know what I mean so yeah that, this is what it does it just plants the stuff but you can just use it and yeah so this is called the plow okay so for the next attachments you are gonna need this thing so all you need to do is do the same recipe with the clay and some strings and you're gonna need eight you're gonna get eight hose i don't know it's called hose 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 i don't know i'm not english i don't know what that is then you're gonna need to grab this thing so that's why you're gonna need this item which is called hose i don't know but you're gonna need it to get the spring sprinkler i know i don't know i can't speak you're gonna need to need it for, to use the sprinkler what this does is is water up the plants so if you have this one attached to, the, to this tractor it's gonna at, um, make the plants so it's gonna make the land wet so you can uh, actually farm and plant some stuff and yeah so basically it adds water to the land <laughs> the word that i was missing is hydrating the farmland so yeah next you're gonna need this item and this is how you craft it all you need to do is simple uh, everything is simple all you need to do is grab it from there it's called the harvester and this is what you're gonna need to harvest the stuff so yeah you're gonna need this harvester and harvest the plant so yeah so first of all you're gonna need the mower second of all you're gonna need the plower or the plow and then you're gonna need sprinkler and then you're gonna need the harvester to harvest your plants it's easy but the crafting recipes are so complicated for me and yeah this is the best i can do okay so now we have we have the tractor and every single attachment is that is that all what you're gonna need this is not what you're gonna need because you're gonna still need the tractor fuel oh my god okay so we, we still have more stuff to do okay so uh this is called actually it's called the oil extractor what it does is it's 
it extracts oil from the uh, sunflowers because basically sunflowers have got uh, oil in them so yeah so how do you craft that so this is what you need all you need to do is do with iron ingots right there and you're gonna need the hopper stick on the middle and if you don't know if you don't know what this is it's called the canister and how this is how you craft the canister over here so this is how you craft the canister all you need to do is fill it up with iron and then put the glass in the middle and you're gonna get a bunch of these and this is everything that you're gonna need okay after finishing with the oil extractor now we are gonna need this item i mean block obviously it's called biofuel compressor what it does is co it compress i mean it's obvious that it compresses the biofuel and but this is how we craft it same thing change the sticks with the obsidian and yeah this is basically the same thing and then you are gonna need this machine which is called the biofuel filtrator what it does is it basically it filtrates the item i don't know it filtrates the oil to get better oil which makes it better which is called biofuel so this is the recipe over there all you need to do is change the hopper with the iron ingots and then change this whatever in the middle with the oak wood planks uh, okay so this is everything about how to craft these in survival mode basically so yeah okay so i forgot about this you use the wrench to detach the attachments so how do you craft that is basically you're gonna need three iron ingots and this is how to you get rid of the attachments so yeah uh, i don't know i forgot about that okay so now how to use these items or blocks all you need to do is get some your, yourself some uh, sunflowers and also some canisters I don't know, the name sounds weird. So to get the organic oil, all you need to do is get yourself some sunflowers and then put it right there. Basically, you just drop it. Um, hello? Oh, okay. You don't actually drop it. You just click the button or right click if you are in a PC. You put the canister and then you start it up by putting... The sunflower over there i don't know i just got confused for a second there you go as you can see it just popped out from the machine and we just got the vegetable oil next thing next we are gonna need the organic material and if you don't know what that is it's any single organic or food that it can be planted this is what organic means so any single if you have carrots if you have melon, if you have even leaves, it works with leaves. I'm not sure if it works with saplings, but we're gonna try. So grab your saplings or any organic thing and just do that. Okay, it doesn't work. Take two. Okay, take two. All you need to do, you don't need the saplings, but you can use the leaves or any, even you can use the poisonous potato if you don't need them in your survival ward. So just do that and you... Are you fucking okay there you go so you just fill it up all of it and then this is how you will get it so this is called the organic material and you can do it with leaves or anything as i said there you go it works with that too okay so yeah so next thing next this is called the compressor and in the change log it says that you need to put the organic material with the vegetable oil so it's gonna do that when you start it up when you put the vegetable oil and also the organic material you're gonna wait a little bit until you get the unfiltered fuel and this is what we need this is what we needed in the first place what you're gonna need to do with that is you are gonna filter it because it's basically unfiltered so what you're gonna need is you're gonna grab some paper and you do the same receipt here and go to your crafting uh, table and do it like that you're gonna need the filter paper so yeah this is what you're gonna need you just put the uh, unfiltered fuel over here with the uh, filtered paper you're gonna wait as always we just have been waiting oh there you go okay so it was inside that's why now we are done you know just got the biofuel and this is the whole concept on how to get the fuel all you need to do is come right here crouch and press the fuel there you go and now we just got the fuel when you entered when you entered oh okay this, this is loud 
so when you get into your tractor you're gonna see this thing right here which is red that means it is still you're gonna need more biofuel but it works so yeah we're gonna we're gonna need more of these but we are not gonna do it because it takes so long okay so next thing next we're gonna need to fill the water to the tractor you're gonna have some bunch of water and this is the same thing and uh, just go right here crouch and click water supply or right click so yeah it does the same thing when you get into it you're gonna see the water meter as we saw the fuel meter over here so yeah that's it okay so that's everything about it basically about everything you need to know about the tractor but however there are some extras so yeah this add-on also adds goats and you can now cook beetroot and you can like put it like that and cook it and also you can cook the uh, carrots so yeah we're gonna just showcase these because they are just extras we are not gonna focus on them also they drop meat and they also eat grass so yeah you can just cook these in the furnace okay there you go now we can cook the beetroot and give us the cooked beetroot and also we can cook the raw goat meat which is really cool it's pretty good addition to this add-on which adds which focus about the farming, you know, which is all focus about farming. Ooh, finally, we are done with this. And the final step you are going to do is you're going to attach the stuff we did before. So you actually have to turn experimental gaming or game, I don't know, on. You have to turn that on. So now it is working. It wasn't working the first time we tried it. But let's do this again. So what I need to do, we are going to mow some stuff. So you have to crouch, attach tool. Uh, enter the tractor and now it is it should work right oh and also you can uh, honk with the tractor like this and you use the jump button oh there you go now it's working we are getting rid of the flowers as you can see we just got rid of that flower and we just got rid for more flowers I don't know if you can get rid of the oh yeah yeah you can get rid of the tall grass too so yeah this is the first thing it is called the mower and if you want to detach that, use the wrench, crouch and right click or use the thing. And now we're going to do the plow. So this is what plow means is that it makes, uh, it makes, it makes the farmland, you know, it makes it, it makes it farm landing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but as you can see, there you go. And yeah, next thing next, we're going to need to, to use the sprinkler. We're going to detach this. Use the sprinkler and get in. And actually, I found a bug. It is when you use the uh, plower, you're gonna find it already hydrated, which is really, really weird because uh, I think this is doesn't have any point anymore. But yeah, but this is what it's supposed to do. And next up, we got the harvester, and I can't show you this because I need to harvest some stuff. Yeah, so I just planted to showcase, planted some seeds. Now it's wheat because I bone milled it. And now let's try this out. And it looks awesome. <laughs> okay, we got rid of everything. And we are actually getting rid of the uh, plants. And this is how you harvest, which is really, really cool. You can just uh, now it's easier to harvest, to plant, and also to uh, mower or plow. So, yeah, and uh, yeah. So, I got thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> this is funny. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Also comment down below which is your favorite part in this add-on and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, join the AG team and yeah, I will see you in the next one, goodbye.